amazing Wake up in the morning, hallelujah Chasing the money, chasing the bands No looking back, me and my gang Steady fire, we leave no gap Good. See the money falling from the sky Wow Today's topic is banking Which I'm sure you all will be thinking about One or two things about After all who doesn't love to visit a banking hall with a nice customer care service? Well, I'm here to make this topic as fun and exciting as possible. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, why do I even need to know about banking? Can't I just keep this money under my mattress? Well, sure, if you don't want to get risk being robbed, but in all seriousness, banking is an essential part of our everyday lives and understanding how it works can help you to make the most of your hard earned decision banks are financial institutions that play a critical role in our economy they provide a range of financial services such as loans savings accounts checking accounts and investment services to individuals governments and businesses the history of banking goes back thousands of years with the earliest bank emerging in ancient greece and rome today there are thousands of banks around the world ranging from small local banks to large multinational institutions banks are important for a number of reasons first they provide a safe and secure place for people to store their money by depositing money into a savings account, individuals can earn interest on their savings and protect their money from theft or loss. Banks also play a crucial role in providing funding for businesses through loans and other financial services. Banks help businesses grow and create jobs. They also provide essential services to governments such as managing the national debt and handling financial transactions now let's talk about the differences between the commercial banks and central banks let's start with central bank central banks also known as reserve banks are responsible for managing a country's monetary policies and regulating the banking system they often government owned and have the authority to issue currencies set interest rates and regulate the money supply examples of central banks include the federal reserve in the united states the central bank of nigeria the european central bank and the bank of japan on the other hand commercial banks are privately owned financial institutions that provide a range of financial services to individuals and businesses they accept deposits make loans and provide other financial services such as investments and wealth management commercial banks are subject to regulation by the central bank and other regulatory bodies examples of commercial banks include access bank union bank wema bank american bank of america wells fargo jp morgan chase in the united states in our coming videos we will dive deeper into the world of banks and explore the different types of banks their services and how they operate we will also take a look at the history of banking and the role they play in the global economy so if you are interested in learning more about banks and how they work be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to stay up to date with our latest videos thank you for watching Finish it!